I think we should redraw this circuit first. So let's maybe some addition on here. Okay, maybe can do this one. Let's drop this maybe. and do some resize okay good now oh, let's resize this so we have a better view okay so now we have a better view let's back to that and this is a fine circuit to do KVL Okay, let's do now we here. So let's draw the loops here. And then let's name these loops as IA. So the current that pass through these loops is IA. And then we are using KVL at IA. And KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. So we start one by one. So in this voltage source here, the current is flowing from negative to positive. So we will have negative value. And the value is 32 volt. And then plus 4. This is a resistance. So 4. We have voltage here, we need voltage but we have resistance, so we multiply this resistance by the current. So I will have IA here. And then again we have voltage source and the current is entering from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative. But the value of the voltage source here is negative 8, so let's plug that in. And then again we have a resistor here, 2 ohm. So we have 2, but we need voltage, so we multiply this by I. And all of this will equal to 0. And let's see what can we simplify here. I can move this minus 32 and this minus 8 maybe to the right hand side. But first, I want to make the sign easier to see, so minus and minus becomes plus, so that is plus 8, and then for IA, plus 2IA will becomes 6IA, is it? I, yeah, I think that's true, and then 6IA becomes 32 minus 8, right? And so I'll have 6IA is equal to 24, and then IA is 4 ampere. Okay, so this is a grid glue here. And from this IA, we can calculate V1. So V1 is IA multiplied by R. And our R is 4 ohm, and our IA is 4. So I'll have that V1 is equal to 16 volt. And then for V2, we have to be careful here because the sign of the voltage is negative here, but we assume that our current is going from here to here. So our voltage when we multiply IA by 2 ohm will be this polarity here. So let's name this as V2 prime maybe. Yeah. Okay, so now we have V2 prime is equal to IA multiplied by R. So IA is 4 ampere, and then our R is 2, so we will have that will equal to 8 ampere. So this is V2 prime. 
But remember, we are asked when the polarity of the positive one is here and the negative one is here. So we can just invert the sign of V2. So V2 will be the negative of V2 prime. So I'll have V2 is equal, or oh, this is not, this is not compared, this is fold. It's fold. So minus of 8 fold. I'll have minus 8. And as you can see here, we have V1 is equal to 16 volt and V2 is equal to minus 8 volt, which is the same as the answer key given by the problem. Okay, I think that's enough for practice problem 2.5. Let's move on to the next problem.